Welcome to Labrador Lodge Project. Today we're going to be working on finishing the porch project, which I started before when I put in a temporary fix. I'll be cutting in some footage of that initial inspection of the porch, what its problem was, what sort of temporary fix I put in place, and then trying to show you some footage of what I'm going to do this time. Now it is dark under there, it's crowded, it's a, it's a cramped space, it is after all just a crawl space. So filming and working at the same time, not particularly easy, since I only have just a little light on my head shining at where I'm trying to work. If you look at the old footage, there's probably something in there about my intent to use a house jack to lift up the porch so I can put in bracing. Well, when the basement flooded of the other house, the porch jack didn't quite make out so hot. So, I'll be doing another kind of redneck solution. I'll be using the jack out of the back of the car to go ahead and jack up the porch. A jack's a jack. What difference does it make? But, just in case you're wondering, that isn't a house jack that you'll be seeing next. It's just a regular car jack, and hopefully it will work. It's not as stable and as right for the job, but the porch isn't that heavy. It can do it. So, without any further ado, it's time to go and finish this porch project. Well, the porch of the house has some sagging beam structure underneath and what I've done I've gone under there temporarily and braced it uh, it's no longer bouncing up and down and I have another little section of what's under the porch that I'll show right after this so you can see um, what's under there and what's going on what we need to do now is we need to jack up the beams so that way we can go ahead and put in the different support work. So that is the uh, next project we're going to have. I'm going to have to go. I bought the supports we need. I bought the lumber that we need. But um, unfortunately, the, it's sagged for too long and it's too heavy. Um, even my temporary bracing is not allowing me to get it up high enough to fit the items underneath. So I'm going to have to uh, get a jack to lift that up. But that's about all the uh, difficulty there is to that. I have a jack at home. I don't need to buy another one. It's going to have to go and get one. So this will be a project that might have to wait uh, until next week or the week after when I get back to go ahead and lift this up so I can finish the supports. Other than that, it should be easy peasy. Okay, what we have here is a case of a project that was begun but never finished. As you see, I'll shine my light. We have some new wood that was put in to fix this porch and old supports were torn out. They're laying down here on the ground, old supports were torn out, but it was never finished. And so really what we need to do for this particular project is just finish the work that was begun by somebody else and get this porch back upright. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be building a couple cinder block piers and then using lumber to build a support ledge on which the beams will rest. Uh, you could also, and maybe preferably, you could hang these beams on joist hangers but uh, given the way this is already together and the access and the difficulty to be able to do that and the desire to get something fixed at right now, we're going to do this other way uh, and it would be a later project if we want to go back to it to make it more s strong uh, for us to put in joist hangers and replace our temporary piers. In the meantime, the piers that we build will be pretty good and they will hold this up and we'll span across with a long board supported by piers. We'll make a new uh, ledge for these to rest on. And that should solve our problem. Otherwise, they've already done a lot of repair work. They've replaced some bad wood. They've resupported some areas. Uh, they just never quite finished this job that they started. So we have all the materials we need. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, might be difficult to film some of these things for you because it's dark. Thankfully I don't mind confined spaces. Uh, so 
this isn't a real big problem for me, just not one that's going to film real easily. Okay, so what we see here is a temporary pier I just put up. There is the jack. And I've cranked this up, and it's supporting this long beam that goes across. And I've actually jacked up the porch higher than it needs to go. That's an important thing to do, because you want to build the piers and then let this settle down on top of them to the right height. So I jacked it up further than it needs to go. Now, this piece of wood may seem familiar to you. You remember when I was doing that fence project on the porch, side porch, you might have wondered why I cut such a huge piece of wood when I only needed a four foot section. That's because, as you can see, this is the right length also to finish this porch project. So I actually was thinking ahead of time and not just being a moron. I planned this out. We have a long piece here and we had the, the end we didn't need from this piece was the right length to be able to do the other project. And when you buy wood, you know, try to think about that kind of stuff. Anyway, now it's time for me to start dragging in cinder blocks and start building the piers to support either end of this piece of wood so that way we can rest it back down and all is right with the world. Well, okay, it is complete. You see we have the beam that goes across. It goes all the way across to the other side. We have it supported over here by a column. A piece of wood is a shim to get the, the width just right. Over here we have another column. Another piece of wood, this one's thicker, to fit that in there right. Now this section here, uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, put together that well. That's because this is not structural. This is where we had our temporary bracing. All I did was turn a piece up, put it underneath. Uh, as you can see, there's a gap. It's not even holding it. That's there just in case we get some sag in the middle. It's not going to sag far. I don't want things to shimmy out of place. So that's just there as a little catch. Just a safety, if, if you will. So, that completes this project. And now for a last look at the project. Here is the porch that's been fixed. And we can go ahead and go up here onto this porch. Stand up here. We can, we can jump all we want. And the porch doesn't move. The porch is fine. Everything is dandy. So that completes this porch project. Now, some of you may be asking how many of these have I done before? Well, the answer is zero. So how many have I done? One, this one. You might wonder, why should you listen to me? Well, because I've done one more than you have. Now granted, I had no idea what I was doing. Often I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm gifted with a superpower called logic, and I figure it out. So go ahead, follow my example, or if you happen to be gifted with logic, which is fairly rare these days, go ahead and figure out your own solutions. Until next time, I'll see you later.